Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to isolate the last tooth in the arch using the 2AD clamp and a few of the other features of this clamp. Step 1 is to isolate the arch. Here we're doing the lower left. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Place the dam very tight on the frame. And I'm just going to try on the clamp and check the fit. This is the B1 clamp, which I use very often when I'm isolating a, a second molar. Take the dam off the frame. I'm going to use the parachute technique. Take the parachute. Bring it into the mouth. Place the frame. Start by trying to get at least something down at the front. The way to floss the contact is you start in the middle of the tooth. Bring it down, roll it in, come over, start on the other tooth, bring it down and pull through. We finish the isolation by just rocking the clamp. Here we're going to open, lift one side, lift the other side. Fit. You can then tie a quick floss ligature. Just easily go around. Clamp tooth just to hold things down. Now, once that's in position, you then apply the 2AD clamp. You can come from the 5 or the 4, and if you need to come off the molar then you could use the SG clamp. Come over the five, seat it. In the mouth, this area is going to want to come up. So it's worth stabilizing this clamp um, with some liquid resin. Press the clamp down to make sure it's secured. Place a liquid dam stop at the front. Just to hold it and stop it. Once you're in this position, you can simply take off the last two. And you now have all the room in the world to do your um, your matricing. It's, wor it's worth saying that the 2AD clamp is not just good for the last tooth in the arch. It's also just really helpful for providing a huge amount of retraction. And it pulls the dam down atically. So this can be helpful when you're doing crown preps. Um, even under uh, split dams. 
just to pull the tongue out of the way and to give you access, which after all is a big part of what the rubber dam is all about.